And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, I'm Tom Vassell. Welcome to the Dice Tower. Today we're taking a look at one of the expansions for Fireball Island. There are four expansions for it, not counting the painted miniatures, which are, hey, painted miniatures. Um, there are four expansions for it. This one here is Crouching Tiger Hidden Bees. It comes with tigers and bees. Let me show you. So in this game, the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to put out honey pots. So there are these tokens here, and you're going to put them in various spots on the board instead of treasure tokens. So you'll place one here, uh, one here, and one up here. Sorry, here. So honey pots are worth getting because at the end of the game, they're worth six points each. But whenever you get a honey pot treasure, you're going to get stung. Now, over the course of this game, you're going to get stung by bees, and the way bees work is if you get stung by a bee at the beginning of your turn, you discard it when you play an action card, and your action card, you only get half the movement for that card. So you got to keep that in mind as you place these. Now, uh, as you get stung by bees, you, is a honey pot worth getting a bee sting? Well, in my opinion, yes it is. Another way to get a bee sting is from the bees. So this includes several cards that either do tiger pounces, tiger leaps, or bees. All right, and then there's also a couple cards in here to add more cataclysmic cards to the deck and a tiger bait card, which lets you shoot the tiger. So let's talk about the bees first because the bees are awesome. You have a bunch of bee marbles. Now these are smaller than the fireball marbles. So they may or may not knock your figure over. And when you launch them, you're going to pour them like that. And they're all going to come pouring out through this. And they might knock people over or not, just like normal. If you're touching a bee sting token, though, with your character, if it's touching one, then you'll get a bee sting. So if you're, so you got to be careful with these, but only if they're touching you. So they may not knock you over, but they may touch you and therefore give you another bee sting token. The other thing that this expansion adds is the tiger. And so the way the tiger works is you are simply going to put it near the board and you're going to basically press down on it and flip it. And it will flip onto the board and you're just trying to knock people over that way. So, you know, once you get good at it, you might be able to hit something dead on. Like I was actually aiming for that tree. Let's aim for the honey pot. Oh, a little low, but you can get pretty good with the tiger. Woo! See that? Knocked over the honey pot. You get pretty good with that tiger. And so that's pretty much all this game, this expansion does, is add bees and a tiger. Not a long review, not a lot of stuff in this, so real quick, my favorite expansion. This is one I always will play with. Granite, it's because I love pouring all those bees in the tower, and so does everyone else. That's just so much fun. If you play Fireball Island, you know that as the cataclysms happen and you're putting more marbles in there, it feels great. With the bees, you can do that right away. Now, they don't knock as much stuff over, but it just, it's so neat to see them scatter across the board. This is an easy expansion to add. The honey pots give people things to go for, so the bees are great, and the tiger's neat too. I mean, you can get pretty skilled at shooting that tiger. And it, you know, as a kid, you had those little frogs that you flipped, same thing. So again, this is one I'll always play with. My favorite of all the expansions, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Bees. I almost said dragon. Dice Tower Judgment, excellent.